Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Um, our entrance at the time may have given away the suspense of that, but the, uh, the, the greeting of the, the angel for her. Um, uh, we uh, dedicate a good chunk of this month uh, to Our Lady, and we uh, certainly ask for her uh, intercession to watch over all of us. We ask for her intercession in a special way in our state that uh, the uh, proposal number three may be defeated uh, in its uh, campaign against uh, life, against uh, safety, against parental consent. And so we offer this mass for that intention today uh, as our students prayed rosaries through the day uh, for that cause. As we begin our celebration, we prepare ourselves to meet our God in word and sacrament. We take a moment of quiet reflection, find those moments of grace in our lives and offer thanksgiving. We seek God's forgiveness for the times we have been sinners. Lord Jesus, you came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you came to call sinners to redemption. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you plead for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. For forth we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let's listen. Be seated, listen to the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had been taken up into heaven, the apostles returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James, all of these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song, only has done great things, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. Coming to her, the angel said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. She was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found love with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the home of, of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Since I have no relations with the man. The angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child born shall be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived the son in her old age. And this is the sixth month. For her who was called her, for nothing will be impossible. God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. The gospel of the Lord. There's one thing that uh, this chapel can be noted. For, and there are many beautiful things in it, but as you walk in the door and, and turn to your right, there are dozens of rosaries hanging there, multiple colors, all of them uh, available for someone to come in and pray, and people come in and pray them all the time. Um, but as if those wasn't enough uh, for our chapel, I brought four more rosaries with me today from my own uh, collection, supply, stock, however you want to prefer to it, that our uh, lady put a big one that hangs on the wall of my office to, uh, to mark her feast day today, Our Lady of the Rosary. Um, and uh, our students did her proud uh, through the entire school day. The classes were in here praying the rosary um, for a good cause, for, or for the cause of, of the sanctity of human life. Um, then I've got this little one. Um, I bought this on my uh, tertianship pilgrimage, at, uh, at which started at uh, uh, the Cathedral of St. James in Santiago de Compostela in Spain. Um, I got this from one of the vendors there. I liked how short it was because it made it, it makes it easy to pray in the car and not get stuck in the uh, turn signal and, and gear shift lever. And it's uh, it, it's been my companion. Uh, I don't know, 10 or 11 years now since then. Um, and I have uh, my most recent acquisition. When it comes in a little ammo band, uh container, this is given to me by my, my dear friend, Brother Michael Granick, who found it. Um, it uh, looks like the case for a 50 caliber bullet uh, chain, but it's uh, about one tenth that size. Um, and it's listed as spiritual ammo. And uh, there's a quote from the man who gave us the rosary, the Saint, Saint Dominic who gave the church the rosary. And he said, one day through the rosary and the scapular, Our Lady will save the world. Um, and uh, the rosary in it is a, a, a quite a special one. It's gunmetal gray. Um, and it was the design from, of all people, the War Department of the United States of America. And they made these and gave these out to all of the, uh, the Catholic troops of the uh, American Expeditionary Force in World War I. Um, that's uh, uh, truly spiritual ammo that uh, uh, our government was much less uh, secularized, I guess, in those days. And they sought to, to meet so the needs of the men they were sending in the harm's way. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing. And uh, uh, I think that, you know, that idea that it's spiritual ammo is an incredible one. But then I come to this rosary. And many, many friends have got beautiful crystal rosaries or rosaries with all kinds of things. 
This one's made of cheap plastic beads and string. Um, and it may be the most precious thing that I own. Um, uh, one of my friends in Milwaukee, actually several of my friends, a friend of the a family fit right in and St. Francis nine kids in the family. Um, uh, several of them worked at Marquette, uh, a couple were firemen. Um, uh, one sister, her name was Kathy, Kathy Glubka, um, it's her maiden name. Um, she was like several of her sisters, very artistic. Uh, the idea of putting wallpaper in a room would, would not be something she would do. She would paint a mural across the wall. She uh, crocheted and knit and painted and uh, did all sorts of artistic things. Um, but as uh, she grew in age, um, her body couldn't keep up with uh, her spirit or her mind that uh, she had developed, uh, I think it was emphysema, and uh, was finding herself more and more confined to home. And one day, um, there's her sister Joan, who's I think two below her in the pecking order of age, uh, was visiting her. And Kathy was lamenting that um, she could no longer work in her garden. That she just didn't have the energy to do it, and she was finding it harder to do uh, housework, let alone do the kind of creative stuff that she liked to do there. And she was saying how hard it was to just sit around all day. She was tired of watching television and things, even though she loved house and garden TV and food channel and such. She said, There's only so much of that I can do. And Joan said, well, I've got something you might like. Um, and she went through her purse. She says, I saw this thing. And she bought it to that little plastic bag. And then it was a bunch of beads and a little coil of string. She said, it's a do-it-yourself rosary. Um, she says, you just string these beads together. And uh, when you're finished, you follow the instructions, tie knots where it tells you to. And when you're done, you've got a rosary. Try it out. So she gave it to her sister, Kathy. But Kathy sat there stringing these things. It was easy enough to do. It didn't take a lot. She said, well, that was kind of fun. And so she looked at the address on the, the, the label on the bag, and she called up and ordered another one, and ordered another 10, and ordered another 50. And she just kept, she spent her day stringing rosaries. And at one point, she had a big pile of these things that would look like our, our collection there um, when Dr. Chittle brings them to, to the church for our reconciliation things. And, First thing you have to do is get all these things untangled, um, separated. Uh, she said, what am I going to do with all these things? And her pastor um, uh, paid a home visit, brought her communion and things. Uh, and uh, she said, would you have any use for rosaries? And I mean, this is a nice suburban parish. And he said, you know, it's going to sound strange to you, Kathy, but I do. He says, one of my seminary classmates um, was sent to the mission. And I think he was somewhere in Africa. And uh, he's always saying, you know, if you've got some devotional things, you can send them to me. And, and there, there's a great need for him there. So she, she gave him, I don't know, 100 rosaries or whatever it was. And she gave him another 100, and another 100, and another 100. Um, I anointed her uh, in the, the hospital the night that she passed. I was. Uh, at her bedside, along with her, her, her two sons and her husband and her, her siblings. Uh, and you just watched that line go straight, and she passed away. And uh, we held her funeral a few days later. Um, uh, my friend, who was also my rector, uh, was a friend, also a friend of the family. He, he presided, and I, and I can celebrate it with him, along with about 10 or 15 other judgments, because there were many friends of the family. And, uh, and Jim, in his uh, uh, homily, uh, explained that story I just gave to you, making all these things, and, uh, uh, and finished and went on with the Mass. And then after communion, um, he said, I really didn't finish my homily. He said, because um, I kept telling you that he, she kept giving the priest these rosaries and he kept finding people to send them to. So well, by the time she passed away, she had made this and sent 50,000 rosaries around the world to, to, to missionaries. And her two sons are at the doors at the back um, 
with more rosaries that she made. And so as you leave, they would like you to, take, to accept one. And that's where this rosary came from. Um, it's a, a gift from Kathy from uh, Beyond the Grave, um, uh, from her son and her husband. Um, but it makes that statement that one day through the rosary and the scapular, our lady will save the world, um, seem very powerful because if one sickly woman can make 50,000 of these things to send 50,000 people praying for something, um, imagine what each one of us uh, are, might be capable of, of bringing uh, to our world. Um, Truly, it's how our world will be saved. Gather our prayers and bring them before our God. We pray to the Queen of Peace, asking that she look upon the world and help it to become a place of peace. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the church. Uh, gratitude for Our Lady, for her rosary, uh, for St. Dominic, for the, the Gospels and the sacraments. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our nation, which itself is under the patronage of the Immaculate Conception. Uh, we pray to the Lord. Pray for our ministry of Catholic education, a ministry begun by, by Mary and Joseph, uh, as they educated their son Jesus, who uh, brought it out to the whole world and continues here at St. Francis today. We pray to the Lord. Pray for um, uh, the people of Michigan that, that they come to see the, the, the sanctity of human life, uh, the, the importance of uh, parents and, and the, the lives of their children, um, for the safety of, of uh, young women and men. And, uh, that that Proposition 3 may be repealed, we pray to the Lord. Pray for, for Kathy, for her, her, her husband, her two sons. Um, pray for the 50,000 people around the world who are praying her rosary. We pray to the Lord. For your intention. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we come before you, bringing you our hopes and desires. These few we've given voice, others we hold silently in our hearts, but all of them we offer to you through your Son, Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed be Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. And blessed be Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become our spiritual drink. Very my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. And Lord, we sacrifice Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may be rightly conformed to these offerings we bring, and so honor the mysteries of your only begotten Son, as to be made worthy of his promises, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God.
It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. For by overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and tremble, the powers tremble before you, heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim, worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, once represented, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. Be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Give us Francis, our Pope, and Jeffrey, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Kathy and our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Francis of Assisi, St. Clair, St. Dominic, St. Ignatius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, to raise our voices in the prayer given to the church by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who stood your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, on our sins, on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other greeting of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take the way of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord our God, that just as we proclaim in this sacrament the death and resurrection of your son, so being made partakers in his suffering, we may also merit a share in his consolation and his glory, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, in the, name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thank you, God. All of you.